Here is my breakup survival guide. Number one, unfollow, delete, block, anything in your phone that has this presence on it, photos, messages, on Instagram, on Snapchat, you cannot be having that on your phone. Which leads me to number two, no contact. You cannot contact them. They cannot contact you. You're not gonna be friends during this period or you're not gonna move on. It's not immature. It's not embarrassing. I don't know why we came up with like blocking we think is embarrassing. No, it's taking care of yourself. Number three, be fucking sad. Okay, you're allowed to. It's like you're grieving somebody that's still alive, essentially, that was in your life. So be sad for a maximum of three days. Wallow, cry, do all of that shit, and then we gotta move on. You're still gonna obviously have bouts of sadness, but you still gotta move on with your life. Number four, no big decisions. Okay, no moving, no job changing, no hair changing. Okay, and even if you've been thinking about that before, amazing but just give it a few weeks. That decision doesn't need to be made right now. So just give it some time. It's, it's okay, no rush. Number five, and I swear by this, a 30 minute walk every single day. I prefer outside, but if it's on a treadmill, if it's cold where you are, go on a walk, you'll always feel better. You can think about things, listen to music, um, plan things for yourself. Exercise is the cure to all, so just do it. Number six, swipe but don't date. Okay, and before somebody's like, oh my God, this is a problem with apps. There, nobody on there is emotionally available. So shut the fuck up, okay? Remind yourself you're a bad bitch. So get on there because after we get rejected, we feel we're not likable, we're not pretty, we're not hot. Yes, you are, okay? So get on there, swipe, make sure that you still got it. You don't need to date right now. I don't recommend that you do, but you can in a little bit. Just remind yourself that you're a fucking bad bitch. Number seven, obvious, lean on your friends and family. They're there for you. You're not a burden to them. They saw you in this relationship, most likely, and are there to talk whenever you need, whenever they're available, so lean on them. Number eight, do not let your friends trigger you. Okay, so if you're no contact, which you should fucking be if anything is getting across in this video, tell them that you are because I know some friends like come to you and are like, oh my God, I saw him do this. How embarrassing. That's not super helpful. No matter how embarrassing or what the situation is, they shouldn't be bringing up his name to you either because that's a trigger. So tell them to don't do that. And number nine, get busy. And I don't mean by having sex, unfortunately. I just mean by filling your calendar, um, planning trips, getting back to your life. Like this, you know, it's a, it's a process for sure. But once you can get back into the rhythm, do different things, change up your routine, you'll be on your way.